I got him. Got his ass. You should have seen it. He was trying to talk, and I told him to shut up. <laughs> Don't waste your time on me. I'm already Amidst coronavirus a guy lockdowns, that is Michael Douglas gay. announces his new podcast. Oh, no, shut up. Mm-hmm. For real? Yes, it's Fr- me. Yes. <laughs> Friend of the show. I have my own podcast now with my co-host Adam, yeah. <laughs> who's a gay man. <laughs> Stop uh, it. Would you just stop it? <laughs> Would you just fucking stop it? Chill out. So, Michael, what do you think of that RNC? I think go- you should stop. Okay. Fucking- <laughs> I, think you should- <laughs> I think you should watch your fucking mouth. <laughs> what do I have to do? Do I have to wash your fucking mouth out with cum? <laughs> like Not your, again, Michael. Like your boyfriends. Please. What exactly do I have to do? Michael, you are my boyfriend. Do I have boyfriend. to wash your mouth out with shit? <laughs> Do I have to make love to your mouth with my ass? Right? <laughs> my ass. My, my ass. ass. And I put my ass up to your mouth. <laughs> yes. It's sexy. <laughs> it's sexy. <laughs> it feels so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Boy, I put my ass up my to your ass up to your lips. <laughs> <laughs> it's sexy. It's sexy. <laughs> Oh my god, it's so funny. Is that the way it feels? It feels sexy to have my ass on your lips. <laughs> is he really starting a podcast? No. Oh, that would be no. This is I a mean, movie where he's in a law firm and he keeps making he keeps making nine hundred number phone calls. Yes. And he gets addicted to them. Right. And I it's fucking that. up his ability to be a lawyer. Mm-hmm. He's too he's jacking so, yeah, off too white much. shoe <laughs> high power Manhattan yeah. lawyer. It's on party lines. I got a call with my client in three minutes, <laughs> but I got to do something first. <laughs> Put my ass in the ass. <laughs> so sexy. It's sexy when I hit it's in your mouth. <laughs> Michael, uh, some of the partners are kind of worried about how much time you've been spending on the phone lately. Listen, they pulled the logs and they saw who you were calling. Now, it's not a big deal, but maybe you want to save that for after hours. <laughs> Why don't you mind your own goddamn business, Scott? <laughs> when you mind your fucking fuck business. It. Fuck you, Scott. Fuck you. I'm the best goddamn Don't liar. forget who's won the most cases. Who wins the... Bre- who's the breadwinner here? <clears throat> and suck the dick below. Just like sucking penis. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of celebrities have... Do- do be having podcasts, though. Yeah, they think that Rob they... Lowe has one, I think. Good afternoon. You're listening to Michael Douglas and Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> <laughs> and, and this is fucking older women. Dude, podcast. Ashton. This I is gotta... the older pussy podcast. <laughs> Ashton did the right. Did, he played De- Demi Moore's pussy like it was stocks. Yeah. He fucking got it at its all-time high. Ashton, let me ask you this. Got out before the crash, and now he's fucking... Have you ever put your your butt cheeks up to (laughs) Demi Moore's pussy? (laughs) How did it feel? (laughs) How did it feel? Did it feel good? (laughs) Did it feel good to feel that? And Ashton Kutcher's not even there. Yeah. (laughs) I'm I'm doing a text-to-speech email. (laughs) Via Ashton. Demi's bush, <laughs> big thick bush all over your ass. <laughs> now he's putting shitting it, in her pussy, <laughs> putting his ass up to a pussy. Just what you say to me, I'm going to be wiped. I'm a baby, and I want you to wipe me. Wipe me with your bush, Demi. <laughs> Ashton Goodrich's like, yeah, I think I got an email from Michael Douglas. <laughs> <laughs> this is know, weird, weird though yeah we're maybe, sending maybe emails. got hacked we're sending emails on air you're listening to <laughs> the michael douglas punked podcast <laughs> and who better to punk for the first episode <laughs> than ashton <laughs> dear ashton <laughs> i raped Demi. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good punk. That's a good punk saying you raped someone's ex wife. <laughs> send the email. I it. <laughs> Siri, send it. Siri, send the email. Okay. Here's what do you want yeah. me to say? Dear Ashton, mm-hmm. I raped a me. Yeah. Ready to send? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Your email says, Dear Ashton, I raped your wife. <laughs> Ready to send? Yes, send it. <laughs> 
fax that over to him. <laughs> fax it from my office. <laughs> send it. Send it. <laughs> send yes. it with high urgency. <laughs> <laughs> my it's, got a, it's got a little exclamation point in red next to it. <laughs> in Outlook. This is crazy. I got a email from, from the desk of Michael he Douglas. Says he raped my wife. <laughs> oh, what? I got an email. I don't know what Ashton comes to sound. That's like. good. Yeah, he yeah. sounds like Putty. Yeah, it's. Uh, oh, uh, This is uh, Ashton Kutch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I. Uh, Change my voice. <laughs> he yep. f- he fancies himself a businessman now. Ashton? Yeah, he goes on Shark Tank. Nuh uh. Yeah, he thinks he's good at investments. Does he how much I mean, does he have money? I think he maybe made money from investments. An old pussy. So that Hassan Minaj show uh ended and now all of the women that worked on the show are are being like, I was raped and traumatized by the show. <laughs> Nuh uh. Yeah. For real? And then none, they're like here. A lot of people have asked me to talk about Patriot Act. I avoid it because each time I re- relive the experience of being humiliated and gaslit, targeted and annoy- ignored, I sink back into days of depression. Tweeting this will probably not help me or anyone else. So let's see what the accusation is. Uh, Dude, women braver, braver than me have already spoke up. The show was a necessary and important one. And I'm proud. Has of- anyone seen that show? No. Has anyone seen that show ever? What no. was it on? What Netflix. Channel? Netflix. It was, da- wait, it was like a it was, daily it was, show. It was projected under my ass. <laughs> as as uh, the first billion dollars I made in film, I spent on the world's tiniest projector, <laughs> so I could have Citizen Kane projected directly under my asshole every minute of every day. <laughs> and this is. This is what makes me so. And then you went into uh, da- the weekly political satire, Michael, afterwards? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then you purchased the Patriot Act and played and then, it on your asshole. And then people got bored of Citizen Kane. <laughs> <laughs> so we watched. <laughs> People were like, this is great. Yeah. We love watching stuff off your ass, yeah, Michael. Boot- <laughs> Could it involve Hassan Minaj? If you get very close <laughs> to see it, the screen, <laughs> because Hassan is the same color as my shit. Oh, okay. uh, Michael, that's, a, that's Come rude. on, Michael. It's not racist. It's a fact. <laughs> Michael, <laughs> chill out, it's, man. That's how an ass works. <laughs> But you My poop ass. races? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have a dial That's and you set it to different colors? Dear Siri, send an email to Hassan. <laughs> New email to Hassan. This is Michael Douglas. <laughs> I was watching a show on my ass. <laughs> I took a As you know, I have the world's tiniest projector. <laughs> Everyone knows that. And, uh, As everybody knows. And we did a bit where you come out of the curtain, which is my hemorrhoids. <laughs> and I got from having my ass... Licked <laughs> by Catherine after she spent the afternoon trying out new salsas. Uh, Even so. Michael Douglas thinks she's Hispanic. <laughs> 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 it keeps it. People Latina tell me she's from Welsh, my, but I don't know. Yeah, Mexican wife. for Latina <laughs> flavor by <laughs> eating hot sauce all day long. And sometimes, <laughs> she, sometimes the hot sauce is still on her tongue when she eats my ass. Wow, that's it's extreme. So oh. It's all red. <laughs> like curd. I can't, I can't wait for people to be like, well, they said ridiculous <laughs> stuff about Patriot Act. And then right in the middle of it, it's <laughs> Catherine Zeta Jones <laughs> eating salsa out of his ass. I, I had a bunch of friends over to watch Citizen Kane. <laughs> Oh my, yeah. Halfway through, I took a shit, and everyone said, "What is this Patriot Act with <laughs> Hassan Minaj?" <laughs> is that what we're watching? Is that what oh, because the show is shitty. No, because no. it, it's oh, a okay. I, I was trying to give you a, it's a curtain, <laughs> and he's coming out of the curtain. <laughs> Jesus, and the curtain is your hemorrhoids. Uh huh. 
<laughs> Seriously. Just send, like my dick is small. Send a new email to Ashton. Dear Ashton, I'm sorry about raping your wife. Would you like to come over and watch Citizen King? <laughs> <laughs> As you know, I've got the world's tiniest projector. I've spent a, a billion dollars on it. So, wait, I'm so confused, Michael. <laughs> you actually did rape his uh, wife? Yes. <laughs> I thought you were punking him by That's pretending. Not a, well, the punk was the, that she the was raped. The punk was the rape, not yeah. the email. To really hurt his feelings. I don't understand how pranks work. No. <laughs> The, the, Honestly, Michael, I think you should be arrested and taken to the mm-hmm. police. Michael, that's yeah, that's pretty messed up. Anyways, so back to this woman's accusation. Yeah, but I wonder if it was worth the mental anguish um, I went through over my last few months there. I wish we still had Patriot Act. I wish they truly practiced the progressive ethos they cultivated on screen. They would really deserve all your love. So Damn. what were they up to over there? Uh, nope, not, not going to tell you what happened. She got gaslit, though. I've been thinking all ye- day about how Prachi Gu and uh, Amali Kin's tweets on their former workplaces and how much courage it must have taken to speak what? Just like my dick gets hard. Just like sucking penis. <laughs> <laughs> so that's the accusation? And then what did people say in response to it? Yeah. Um, I think there will be a time soon when the people behind the show dive into some of the problems behind the scene. Now, here's the first complaint listed. A mostly white writer's room, for example. So that's a form of abuse now. (laughs) Is it if white people are in the writer's room? Mm -hmm. Strike one. Yeah, strike one. Hilariously tone deaf to publicly mourn the possible future while not publicly supporting your marginalized, abused colleagues. How about just don't ever <laughs> hire Indian women again? For- <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's this happened? This happened on the Rami show, too. No, really? Yeah. The Rami show was like they turned over the writer's room for the second or third season. And then it was like an Indian woman that was like, I have been raped <laughs> by not being. That's hired a good again. show. The Rami show? Yeah. I like it. I haven't watched a single episode. <clears throat> nice guy. But yeah, they tried to come for him. They were like, you know, he fucking, he turned over the, inti- they turned over the entire room. Right. It wasn't like they just didn't hire women back. Or right, right, right. It was like framed in some kind of bullshit way on social media. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Rami's got himself a golden globe, so mm-hmm. they can suck his golden nuts. Well, I've got a golden... I have a different kind of golden globe. (laughs) What kind is it, Michael? I don't want to tell. (laughs) Do you put it in your ass? Yes. (laughs) I wasn't... I was hoping people wouldn't figure it out. It has the planet on it? Is it like the award, or is it just a big golden globe? I have a set of anal beads that are each of the individual planets in order from the sun to Pluto. In well, order, you start at the sun? Size. Yeah, you start at the sun. That's the, the sun, the biggest the one. The biggest one? You put that one in your ass the first? The sun goes in your ass first. <laughs> and then you, you That's work. so much bigger wow. than the other ones. And I was arrested <clears throat> at the Ben Franklin Institute in Philadelphia for trying to show it to children in the gift shop. <laughs> <laughs> was it because there was still shit on it? And uh, and that caused problems at my job at the law firm, <laughs> which is the, pl- oh, the plot of my new film, Philadelphia 2, <laughs> even gayer this time. <laughs> <laughs> It's true. More AIDS. That was my issue the first time I saw that movie. Yeah. It wasn't gay. The though. opening scene of... of, of, of uh, yeah, it's Philadelphia directed by Sidney Lumet. <laughs> the opening scene is Tom Hanks is sweating in a jail cell. Right. And uh, Denzel is his public defender. Right. He shows up and he's like, so what's going on? I read in the police report you were putting the entire solar system in your ass at the Ben Franklin Institute. <laughs> yeah. So this is he's Tom like, Hanks after the events of the first. No, this is just a redoing of Philadelphia. A reimagining, a reimagining where it's gayer. Yeah, where it's Philadelphia, directed by Sidney Lumet, where Tom Hanks is sweating in a jail cell. Uh-huh. The late Sidney Lumet. And he's, uh, you know, Denzel's assigned this case, and he's like, you're looking at first degree sexual misconduct, you know. Right. There's not really any, you know, he doesn't want the case. He's homophobic. Of course. He doesn't want to deal with this guy. And then Tom Hanks is like, uh, Denzel, uh, listen. Um, I'm gay. I'm a, I'm a fag. 
uh, if you will. Uh, how does he talk? It's kind of there. Yeah. Yeah, so Michael fine. Douglas is not in it, though. Uh, uh, I put things in my ass. It's what I do. Uh, so Louis C.K. No, it's, <laughs> yeah. from, it's from the twisted mind of Michael Douglas. Right. Yeah. He reimagines He's the auteur. I'm, yeah. I'm writing a movie for my good friend Sidney Lumet to direct. <laughs> You have to excuse me. I'm not very good at impressions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was Michael yeah. talking. And so Denzel shows up and he's like, "Man, Damn. how you go? How you gonna be putting shit in your ass, man?" And Michael, Michael I, that really doesn't that. sound like Denzel. Yeah. Yeah. From my memory, <laughs> from memory, that's. Really I've met him dozens. Of times. And so then, <laughs> Tom Hanks says, "Ah, uh, oh, what's up, pork chop?" <laughs> Yeah, you know, one of his classic lines. <laughs> <laughs> one of his famous gay lines. <laughs> Philadelphia. Wow, that's awesome, Mike. Mm -hmm. And is there like cock sucking on screen? What makes it gayer this time? This time he's taking blue chew. Oh, okay. Wow. Now the that's gayest, something I can get behind. The gayest dick pill there is. We haven't mentioned yet on this show that we use it for gay. The Bluetooth for pill. having gay sex for gay sex, and it works for both heterosexual and gay sex. It's true. I wouldn't know about the heterosexual sex aspect of it, but it very much well, works I for would. the gay sex. I've never. I've only used it to have sex with girls. I get it before I get my prostate milked. I, That's awesome. I chew it up. You chew it and do it, and then I milk it out. <clears throat> yeah, Bluetooth's a beautiful product, folks. Um, whether you're gay like Adam or straight like me, mm -hmm. um, I it, thought we were all it gay makes, no, it's actually just you. Okay. It makes your dick so hard <clears throat> and it's nice because it's the same active ingredients as, uh, Viagra and Cialis, Tadalafil and Sedalilofil. Yeah, but you don't need an in-person doctor's visit. None of that bullshit. Which makes it actually more affordable. If you like sex, <laughs> you love Bluetooth.com. That's right. Listen to this Mexican. <laughs> I'm done. Okay. Back to you. Um, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, I hate the awkward in-person doctor's visit. You pull your dick out. Your mm -hmm. doctor has to taste if your dick is soft mm -hmm. or not. And then your doctor looks at you and he says, that's awkward. Well, right? that's awkward. Well, that's awkward. Awkward turtle. A performance enhancement for the bedroom. <laughs> Imagine putting a spoiler on your asshole yep. right. so you can fuck faster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Imagine having a spoiler. <laughs> they, uh, they, there's, they're adding me into the... I've requested to be put into the Fast and the Furious movies. <laughs> he has a spoiler. <laughs> but it's just Michael Douglas running with a spoiler <laughs> sticking out of his ass. <laughs> so and we're, we're renaming it Fast and Loose. <laughs> Ooh, I like so that. Yeah, yeah. Fast, fast and Nine, loose. Fast and Loose. We're not just Fast, we're Loose. <laughs> mm -hmm. Uh, Michael is furious. Michael Douglas, fully nude, <laughs> with a pair of New Balance running sneakers, yeah. and there's a spoiler coming spoiler out. Coming out. <laughs> and he's running really fast. And it says bluechew.com. <laughs> yeah. Spoiler. Oh, yeah. The, he's oiled up. The official NASCAR yeah. bluechew mm -hmm. car. Bust as quickly as possible. <laughs> a lot of people ask me, Michael, how is it possible that you had sex with 10,000 women? And it's because I have not in one pump immediately <laughs> because there's a spoiler coming out of my ass that's sponsored by blue chew right <laughs> that's kind of like their red bull yeah their red bull challenge what the fuck is that red bull thing where they're like make a plane oh yeah we'll I don't try know. making oh, a plane yeah, yeah and jump into a we're lake. going to do a contest why don't you try making a plane okay everybody loses again this year <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no one can do it <laughs> Great job making us look like fucking idiots. <laughs> Just take a hang glider. Mm -hmm. Red mm -hmm. Red Bull is kind of the opposite of blue chew. Right, it makes your dick soft. It's red mm -hmm. instead of blue, and instead of chew, drink it's it. bull. Yeah. Right, that's true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, chew sounds like cow. Chew, yeah, because cows chew. Cows chew. Yeah, they chew. Chew, they chew chud, bull. They chew chud. Both of them have a U in it. There's two L's at the end of bull. What does that stand for? Lower level? Mm-hmm. And then chew, often a terrace. What do you do on a terrace? You chew bubble gum. Chew yep. bubble gum. Top floor, penthouse. Penthouse, sweet baby. Up Take there, that. Chew, yeah, the big. You could chew. be in the basement with the Red Bull, or on the top of the Empire top State. State. The Empire State Building with a hard ass. Good dick. times. You Good know? times. Good times. Moving JJ, JJ Walker. JJ is sort of the opposite of LL at the end of Bull. 
True. So, so, true. Cool. so J.J. Walker is in Good it, Times, and they're moving on up, which is a theme song from a different show. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a different Jeffersons. black show. It's the Jefferson. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a different black show. And... Mm-hmm. There's two L's in fucking b- yes. uh, bull. Mm-hmm. So in a way, yeah, chew and bull, bull opposite words. Yeah. Opposites. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> damn, you just blew my damn mind. Yeah. <laughs> I love not taking my pills except for blue chew. <laughs> it's the only pill you need. It's the only pill you need. And that's why we're not alarmed. Because the important thing is Nick takes a pill. I take a pill. And it's, it's, the doctor said, the doctor make sure said you make take sure a pill. A pill. Mm-hmm. And never been, said what pill. That's right. Mm-hmm. Actually, that's not true. I said. <laughs> Whoa, Michael Douglas is your doctor? He's a doctor. <laughs> My name is Dr. Michael Douglas. <laughs> It's like a Dr. Mario situation <laughs> where I'm not, I'm not Michael Douglas. I'm a separate character. I'm a different guy with a, one of those little things on his head. Yes. Just like how Dr. What Mario. What are those things? Those metal things? I don't things. know. I've never seen a doctor wear one of those. No, I think that's it's reflective. an olden days Yeah, it's doctor. reflective back when you used to have to operate by candlelight. <laughs> oh, it's like, a, it's like an old headlamp kind of thing. Yeah. That, oh, dude, cool. that's when surgery was romantic. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Fucking slice open a guy's fucking nuts. 